Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. I got a good text there and I have said to me is this. Is there a reason why people save their money? Not like for a car or for like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no problem. It's to do with this, right? When you have good income coming in, like I'm talking about minimum wage, I'm talking about maximum wage, okay, yeah, whatever you guys get, whatever you girls get, uh, every two weeks, or every month, or every week, yeah, and you see that nice batch, fresh batch, yeah, of your nice payday, in that main bank account that you have, okay, and you say to yourself, Wow, that's loads. I'm actually going to buy vans. Maybe um go um actually I might um hop on a flight and get a nice dinner over in 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 London for two days and then come back tomorrow. I do that every uh weekend. Why are not? I fly over to London, there. Yeah, why are not? There, like you're in Ireland. There, why are not go over to London? It's only next door. There, you know, like, she, like, the amount of money that I make there, I can afford that, no problem, not a bother, not a bother, I can afford that, no problem, there, and it's kind of like, you're burning all your money, and that's why people, yeah, all people, actually, minus, okay, I only need this amount there for, to spend on bills, medical thing rent or mortgage yeah and then house bills and food bill there for the month or for the week or every two weeks whatever it is and then minus the rest of it into your savings account there yeah and then when you actually look at your savings account I mean your main bank account yeah you look and everyone has a goddamn number that they are not happy with okay am I right am I wrong it's up to you. You know what I mean? Everyone has a price. Which is true. You hear it in movies, TV shows. Everyone has a price. They do? Yeah, oh, God, yeah. I have a price as well myself. There. You know? And um, so, anyway. They look. And a certain number. And I'm going to just say a random number, okay? So, a random number starting with. You only have three grand there, why don't you spend that? Go on, spend that. No, because if I spend spend that then, that three grand, I'm bankrupt. All I have then is um, floating around um, money. As in like, what I get off my job. That's it. And then, what happens then? Can you tell them? They're terrified of, go on, go on. But they only use that money for emergencies only. And even their noggin knows that. Doesn't matter if they're or drunk or whatever. They'll say, I have fuck all my, my bank account. Even hire bigger people that make super, like 80,000 a year. to say, I only have um, 40k in my bank account. I'm not touching that. Or I'm not touching that. Oh God, no. I'm not touching that. Oh no, God, no. Why not? Because... It's only that much there. It's not that much. Like 40. Like 4 and a 0. Dash 0, zero, zero, zero. You know what I mean? 40,000. Like. That's why I won't spend it there. Oh. Thank God I get paid next month. <sighs> That'll pay for that there. And you still only have 40k there. What about the extra extra um money that came in from your job? That's spent on bills there. But what are your savings? Yeah, but that's savings. That's the reason why people launch the rest of it into a savings account there. Or maybe, don't get me wrong, they might pop it into their a second pension. They can have two pensions. You can have more than one pension, you know, just to let you know. And then they'll be like, what the hell? No wonder why people actually... Say that they have no money. Exactly. You see how much they actually have. They're like. Whoa. You can spend that. Like, yeah. But the thing is. If I spend 40k. 
on random shit. Yeah, that I don't even really even need. But I'm just thinking myself in my head, let's go to Disneyland, let's let's buy a car, let's buy a brand new small little Porsche for for the kids, let's buy this and that and this and this and this and this and that. It's like, dude, calm down. If you spend that, yeah, what are you going to have? Um Nothing. Yeah, if you spend that thirty K there in your bank account or 40k that's in your main bank account there yeah you're bankrupt you have no money all you're looking forward to is living off paycheck by paycheck what do you think people actually put um, the rest of their working money into their savings account because into a different bank account like because they can actually leave that there for a really rainy day and then they almost forget about the they actually have the savings account, yeah, they do. Loads of people do because they're so comfortable on what they're spending already there that covers them anyway. You know what I mean? And then they dip into their savings then if the house is falling apart, the floorboards need to be done, you know what I mean? Or like, oh, we need new windows there, sewn through a brick through the window there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like... We, no, 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 I'm not touching my main bank account. He's going, fuck off. And then, he went, oh, savings account. Wow. Whoa. This is the garage. Yeah, this is big ass garage of saving you have over the years. Woo. 2000 there to fix that one up. <laughs> That's nothing. There you go. Done. Like that. Did it touch your main bank account? Nope. It only touched the savings account there and that's why it limits people for a good reason like that and then you're in a safe section you're safe you're secure is what it is you put all your money into one big batch big batch right there's the money there you go there's the money into one bank account yeah good luck what well, you'll be spending that every goddamn day with that card like a wand like a wand pay for that pay for that pay for that pay for that how much is left keep spending it's a, it's a tap tap here girlfriend what do you want for your birthday mm, well since you show me your bank account um, i'll have this there if you love me if you love me yeah if you love me this much you should afford that i've seen your bank account uh oh and then yeah, no problem, doom, doom. And then she's going to expect you to pay for all, the, everything, because she's seen your fucking real main bank account. Oh. That's why you should actually put into savings accounts. Yep, you should. You should always put into savings account there, because you can say to yourself, I'm grumpy, what makes me happy again? Go out for a nice coffee and a nice lunch and get a nice club sandwich there, there, watch it in this fancy hotel near the beach. Okay, why not? You have the money for it. That's kind of like, you can't afford that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Because you're dipping into your main bank account, you sap. You need that um, money for the future. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I totally forgot. You should... You, Use your savings, you moron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Wrong. Do. <laughs> and then tap like that. Bing. Done. Put it back in your pocket there. Ah, don't use that until you really, really need to use it. As in your savings account. That's why people have savings. What do you think people have? Revolut. There's some people now that are using Revolut as... Right, I need this amount of money now to spend... For myself and the rest i keep in my main bank account for one reason only is because that means then i don't have to use my main bank account and keep tapping all day i was like well you have loads of money you're fine i feel so well yeah but see you won't be ri you won't be rich if you spend all your money oh you won't be rich if you don't if you keep spending your money you know what i mean true that's why you should have a smart Noggin. What do you think people have savings? What do you think billionaires and millionaires, yeah? 
use them um, credit cards because it can use a cer only a certain amount exactly a certain amount there like that they don't touch the real current account oh so when they get paid they use that payday to pay off the credit card and then they use it again for the next month the next month the next month the next month that's how those type of people do it then there's other people that don't have credit cards there what i just told you in the very start of this video that's how they do it is use their savings account there use take out their savings account wallet there tap it with the card like that put it back in their pocket like that you know and that's how they do it that's why people loads of people actually don't um keep using their current account all the time is that why oh yeah that's why they say all the time that's why they say oh yeah fuck off but you have like 50 grand k in your bank account dad or mom yeah but the thing is though that's not your money number one but really the number two thing is that it's not your money really it's not no one's anyone's money it's for real em emergency like if i lost my phone or the the my oil tank in the car broke or something then i'll use my current account for that you know what i mean that's what i'll use it for when i'm really stuck if i'm not if i'm not stuck at all why should i use it and then you have these smart ass people saying yeah, but you can't take it to the grave, which, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is that we don't know. Okay, what day am I dying? And what month I'm dying? And what what year am I dying? Going to die. So I should actually save up. So I should spend all my money before in um, less than um, 40 years, should I? Yeah, but what if you live longer than that? Oh yeah, that's right actually. That's a dead saying. But you can't take it with, to the grave with you. Uh, you can't even take the house to your fucking, for your freaking grave either, can you? N -n no, but we need the house, don't we? Yeah, to live in. There, no one wants to live on the road, do they? Nope, in the cold. No insulation, no nothing. No heating outside. Well, that's true. Exactly. I think that is a dumbass saying anyway. But you can't take it to the grave with you. Yeah, but we don't know when we're going to die. You know what I mean? We could die tomorrow. That's kind of like, yeah, but I'm in, I'm in, um, but I filtered up my pension and everything and my savings account. There, well, who can go to someone else? Now you're gone. But, but, but that wasn't the plan. My plan was to spend all my money. Well, if you spend all your money, you'll be poor. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So you can't win, really. Everyone will know this and tell you that, and even the banks will tell you, really, actually. They will say, loads of people that pass away actually have loads of money in their bank account and pensions there you know but the thing is though if you actually empty out everything that they own in their bank and their pensions and retirements yeah they actually have this amount of money but they weren't even going to spend it all because they passed away they didn't even know how, how long they were going to last no one does no one knows you know what I mean? So that's why it's always a dead... That's saying that everyone keeps saying, you can't take it take it to the grave with you. You can't take it to the grave with you. And it's like, yeah, we know we can't take, take it to the freaking grave. But what are we supposed to do? Burn it right now? Spend all of it now? Okay, I'm ready to die. Weird, isn't it? 